Hi guy, how are you doing? Would, I'm doing great, thank you. Would you mind to introduce yourself for the younger generations? Introduce myself. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm Guy Gilchrist, and I'm. I guess I'll always be known as Jim Henson's cartoonist because I'm Jim's original cartoonist, starting in 1980. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppet Babies, Fraggle Rock. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. You work for Warner and for different companies of animation, right? Oh yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, yes, I worked for Warner Brothers for a very long time. After Jim passed away, uh, the Muppets, then yes, and I became Warner Brothers East Coast Art Director for many years. Do you consider Kermit the Frog your most important character? Um, I would say that Kermit the Frog, yes, would probably be the character that's most associated with me and the Muppet Babies. Um, But, you know, I've been drawing Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes for many, many years as well. But yes, without a doubt, because I'm in the Smithsonian as Jim's Muppets artist. Uh, and I was with Jim when we created the Muppet Babies and all of that. Yes, without a doubt, it's the characters that are most, uh, that I'm most associated with. Mm -hmm. Yes. What will you give, like, uh, what is your message for the new generation about your legacy? Well, the new generations of artists. Yes. That, well, you know, you have a wonderful opportunity to be seen through the Internet. But my message is for you not to get distracted and be drawing so much for your friends and posting for your friends that you're not paying attention to getting very, very good and promoting yourself, not to your friends, but to the people that want to buy your stuff. Because I will tell you, the more you practice, of course, the better you will get. And if you never, ever quit, because remember, the world doesn't quit on you. You find a reason to quit. Thanks. Okay? So if you never quit and you practice and you try very hard, you will make it. Yes. Thank you very much. Guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm good. My name is Francis Manable, and I am here at Philadelphia Fan Expo. Okay, what do you work for? I work for DC. I wrote and drew The Flash, Detective Comics, Trinity, which stars Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, and I've also worked on Justice League. And currently, we started this brand new company called Ghost Machine. And in November, uh, me and Pete, Peter Tomasi are launching a brand new book called The Rockefellers. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, how long you have been in the comic book industry so far? Uh, I have been doing this for a living for over 21 years. Okay. So, you work and you draw? I write and I draw. Okay, that's, yeah. that's amazing. And right now you're producing Ghost Machine for Image, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're producing our, our books and we're publishing it through Image Comics. That's amazing. How does that work? I know that Image uh, encourages and impulse like the work from artists. I know the origin of Image Comics. How does you get involved with Image Comics by yourself? How do you knock the door? Well, I, you know, Jeff, uh, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank did Geiger through Image, and that was a very successful partnership for them. And you know, they started thinking of ways of how they could expand to do more creator own work. And then as that expansion began to, I guess, uh, leak into their minds. They started adding in more artists and more writers, and now we have this brand new company, Ghost Machine. That is amazing. I'm looking yeah. forward to learn more about it. Thank, Thank you very much. Hi. Hello, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Rob Lee. I'm a, I'm a longtime comic book letter, former inker. Um, right now, I'm affiliated with uh, with Ghost Machine. How long have you been working in the comic book industry? 30, 32 years. Okay. Long time. Have you working? What comics have you been working? DC, Marvel, Batman? Predominantly DC. I started with DC, and um, I was an anchor for them for about 11 years. I've been a, a letterer for the past 20, 22 years. Um, so at one point or another, I've I've worked on just about every DC flagship character, every many many of their books. I, I guess I've done 50 or 60,000 pages over the course of my career. 
What is your favorite work in DC that you have worked before? For for, for DC? DC? Yes. Um, there, there's a lot. I, I One of them that stands in particular, stands out in particular, is Jonah Hex. I had about a 100-issue run on that. Uh, that I was very proud of. That was a lot of fun to work on. But Wednesday Comics was another uh, was another great project. Books and it's like let's see, Doomsday Clock. Yeah, there, there's been a lot, a lot of a lot of high water marks in in my career. I've been very fortunate. Well, yeah, Jeff and I, Jeff Johns and I, have been working together for uh, twenty plus years. Peter Tomasi over there, he and I have been together thirty some odd years. So, it's lovely. Long relationships. Yeah, it's so, lovely, like, the well, comic book creators yeah, yeah, support each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, you are collaborating with Dimash, right? I, I, uh, I let her with, uh, with Ghost for, for Ghost Machine. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's amazing. I'm looking forward to read a little bit more of, of Ghost oh, Machine. I'm, I'm glad. I hope uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're, we're having a lot of fun putting these uh, these projects together. Hi, Ken. How are you? Fantastic. I, so, do, what do you work with? Uh, so, I work on, uh, so I've, I've done uh, Simpsons comics, books, merchandise. Uh, I drew Popeye comics uh, about 10 years ago. I did a series of uh, that for Die DW. Um, I've done recently, uh, more recently, I've done some Betty Veronica covers. And I'm working on an actual a cover for the Flash Gordon number one, which is coming out for Mad Cave uh, pretty soon. So, in July. How long have you been uh, working with comic book industry? Uh, about 20 years on and off, you okay. know, That's a while, it goes back a while. That's good. And what is your longest run, like with The Simpsons? Uh, yeah, Simpsons, I did uh, various things. I did about a half a dozen projects a year for them for several years. Uh, as a freelancer, you know, you get what they send you. Uh, I did do uh, six of the 12 issues of uh, Popeye that uh, IDW uh, released, so. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Tell me who you are and what's your goal. We're the Philadelphia Ghostbusters. And within the limits of the city of Philadelphia, and maybe a little bit beyond, we seek out and stamp out evil specters and spooks. If you see something strange, say something. You know who to call. Not only that, and we're also a charity group, nonprofit, where we go out, dress up as Ghostbusters, and raise money for all kinds of causes. Right now, we're out um, raising money for the uh, in Invisible Illness Awareness Network. It's an organization that actually dives in with other doctors and physicians and nurses to really help those who can't figure out what's wrong with them. Uh, before this, we were doing a big uh, event for Phil Abundance, which is a huge factor in Philadelphia. Um, and uh, later this year, we'll be doing Toys for Tots. Um, so we've so worked with CHOP as well before. Yes. Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So we, uh, we really love giving back to the community and helping those out, especially the kids. Hello. Hi, Adam. Nice to meet you. I'm a big fan of your show. What is a message that you would like to share with all your fans uh, here in Philly and around? Oh, the message that I would like to share is to share. Uh, one of my, actually, my single favorite thing about the cosplay community is how egalitarian, open, and inclusive and sharing it is. And actually, here in Philly, the inclusivity seems even more extreme than usual, and I love that. I'm here for it. Thank you very much. I love your show. And what is next for you? Like, what are you working right now? Well, I, right now, I'm still just building stuff in my shop for Tested, my YouTube channel, and there's no end in sight. I'm having the best time. I'm doing, I think, 11 cons this year. So it's basically tested and cons. Okay, that's magnificent. I hope to see you soon, and thank you for sharing with us. Thanks very much.